Hey everybody, it's time for some more Let's Play Sapphire Nuzlocke Combuskin. Last time we took on Brawly, and I forgot to turn the battle scene back on, because I am just the smartest person alive. Alive. I can speak, and today we're going to just kind of finish exploring this little beach area, and we'll proceed into Slateport, and good times will be had by everybody. So let's just double kick these. This is Zural. Because it's super effective. When I was a kid, it took me a long time to realize that Azuril was a normal type. Like, it was just one of those things that never really occurred to me. Same thing with Sudowoodo being a rock type. Like, you would think. Well, obviously, you would think Sudowoodo would be a grass type, but then it turns out that it's a rock type, so I was really dumb there, and I should have switched. Huh. I know Slush is out of power points for Mega Drain, but. Whatever, he can still take Water Gun a lot better than Combuskin can. Oh, okay, you're just gonna use Defense Curl. Well, thanks for making me look dumb. Now I know that I could've just used Double Kick and killed you in one shot. But whatever, so... What kind of fun... Oh, 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 this isn't going anywhere, is it? <laughs> it's worth it. I'm not spamming Tackle for, like, ten turns. I'm just the best Pokemon player alive. Like, I keep my Combuskin in against Merrill's. I forget to use Ethers on my Mega Drain before I go into battles. Just, I am the best Pokemon trainer in the world. I really am, too. There we go. What should have happened in the first place. Say, so what fun things are there to talk about on this, the five minutes after I recorded the last episode? I'm trying to record all these, like, right now on Saturday and Sunday. Because I have finals coming up this week, and just it's, it's not a good time. I'm, I'm gonna be studying all over the place, and yeah, I probably won't feel like recording. Hopefully, I'll feel like editing, although that is not a fun thing to do. How did they get those tubes down? How did they get them up there in the first place? Whoa. The mysteries of Pokemon. I keep checking to see if Skittles picked up an item, but nope. Nope. Well, that's okay, because when he pick because when he does pick up items, he picks up rare candies and proteins and all this fun stuff. So, okay, we're back on. We're, we're not back to. We just entered Slateport for the first time, and there's not too much to do here. We can go into this little place and we can buy dolls. That's not too helpful to us. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe if you really want dolls, you can buy dolls here. The Energy Guru. Okay. Oh yeah, these are all. Okay. I feel like I'm really low on money. <laughs> I only have, like, just over 9,000. Oh. Well, anyway. <laughs> Rekka Muska doesn't love us hard enough. Shame on him. Okay, so there's nothing that we can really buy here, is there? Okay, that's the secret power lady. But she doesn't give us secret power because she's cheap. What's this? Calling all fans of Pokemon. I'm a fan of Pokemon. Oh, this is that house. I'm kind of scared to talk to him because I know from experience that he'll go on for multiple minutes, but... Oh, this is all about contests. Ugh. Contests. No. I remember in, like, the anime for, you know, Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, they kind of stressed that there were kind of two ways to go with Pokemon. You could be a trainer or you could be... What was it? You could do contests. I think that was like a coordinator. I think they called it. <laughs> like uh, I, don't, I don't think it ever caught on. Like in fourth gen, they kind of continued it. Like they had Dawn doing the contest then, but I'm pretty sure they've disregarded it now in fifth gen. Where's the Pokemon Center? There it is. And I don't know. I remember the, the Pokemon contests being kind of lame in the anime. I, I mainly just watched the Battle Frontier saga. And then they had that whole thing with the contests there, and I, yeah, I don't remember them being all that interesting. I don't know, maybe if you watch anime, you can leave your thoughts on the contests. And, oh, can I get through? This isn't really a line. I mean, there's this big break here. The Endless Sea sustains all life. Okay, that's, that, that's cool. So I mentioned last time that I would always get lost here because I didn't know that you have to talk to this guy over here. If this goes here, and that goes over there, then where does this go? Whoa. My mind just got blown. So this isn't Captain Stern, but he will take it from us and then give it to him later. Oh, he won't. 
Well, whatever. I'm pretty sure just talking to him will make Team Aqua move, so now we can go and do stuff in here. Yep. In that short amount of time, they all got in there. That's good. Uh, yeah, we're gonna want to lead with Slushy. Wait, did they all pay to get in here? <laughs> They're an evil team, but they'll gladly pay to get into, you know, museums and stuff. To pay respects to the ocean. And we got TM46, Thief. Okay, that's cool. Now in the manga, I don't read the manga at all, actually. I just read a few little interesting bits about it. And apparently in the manga, near the end of it, like, the gym leaders would, like, choose sides between Team Aqua and Team Magma. And that just kind of shows how, like, the manga just doesn't... Th like, the manga does whatever it wants. At one point, an Arbok is cut in half, and no one seems to care. So yeah, I, I have been meaning to check out the manga. It's just that there's so much of it, I don't know where to start. So yeah, I don't know if you've ever read the manga. Do you read manga? I, I, I guess. It is a book. I don't know, it, it almost seems more like watching it. <laughs> it's a book. So have you have you read the manga? And if you have, what are your thoughts on it? You can just leave your thoughts on everything. Just everything in general. <laughs> because I keep asking you for your thoughts. So we swept that guy. So Team Aqua is in this museum and they want to steal something. I don't remember what it was. I should probably know that. Probably. So the next place... <laughs> just completely ignoring what's going on here. The next place where we can catch a Pokemon is... What's it called? Route 110. And on that route, we can get a whole bunch of interesting stuff. We can get a Plusle at a 15% chance. Eh, not sure if I really want that because Plusle... It's, it's squishy. And it will die to things later on in the game. And plus, there is another place where we can very easily get an electric type, so yeah. Please don't hurt yourself. Thank you. We can get an, an we can get an electric at a 30% chance. I would like that, actually. Like, even if we can get a, an electric type really easily later on in the game, getting an electric would be really helpful, I think. And, oh, you can just hit yourself, that's fine. We can get a Zigzagoon at a 20% chance. That wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Another Zigzagoon to pick up items, right? And then we can get a Gulpin at a 50% chance. And I would really like that, honestly. Just because Gulpin. It's just a silly looking Pokemon. And plus, Walleye isn't that bad. So, yeah. Okay, can you... Maybe I should heal. <laughs> okay, I didn't need to, thankfully. And then there's some other Pokemon we can get. We can get an Oddish at a 10% chance. Eh... I don't know. I don't like the idea of having two grass types, but, you know. In a Nuzlocke challenge, one of them is bound to die eventually, so... Hopefully not. I don't know, maybe if, maybe if we get an Oddish, I'll use it. I'm not sure yet. And then we can get a Wingle at an 8% chance, and that would just be the worst thing, honestly. Like, I, I would rather get a Plusle. And then, lastly, we can get a Minin at a 2% chance. And if we get that, I'll feel lucky, but I'll feel very unlucky, because... I really don't want plus or mining. I'd prefer Electric, Zigzagoon, or Gulpin, so. Yeah. Okay, so we're done with that little saga. I got a little notification on Steam. Those of you that have Steam, like, do you join, like, random clans, and then, like, every once in a while you'll see you have a Steam message, and you'll be like, oh, I wonder who it's from. And it's just a little alert from that clan that you never do anything with. I should probably, you know. What's the word? Quit those clans? Leave them? So that I stop getting those alerts? So here's the actual Captain's turn. We can give him the parcel now, I think. Yep, the Devon goods. The goods of Devon. And then I think about it, there's kind of a... With Mr. Stone and the Devon Corporation being all about, you know, stones, fossils, and stuff, and then delivering goods to Captain Stern in this ocean, it's all ocean-y and stuff. I guess there's the whole, you know, land and sea thing again. I don't know. You never really notice these things until you really look for it. So yeah, did our Pokemon... Oh yeah, we should probably heal. So now we can go to Route 10, or Route 110, and get our Pokemon. I already explained what we can get there moments ago, so if you've forgotten, you can just go back and watch it. That's the convenience of YouTube videos. You can just rewind and go watch it. It's, it's great. YouTube technology is amazing. Okay. Did our Skittles get an item? Nope. Whatever. Okay, our encounter for Route 110 is... Gulpin, Electric, Zigzagoon... 
Okay. <laughs> I'm okay with this. I, 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 I'm not gonna lie, I would have preferred a, uh, a Golpin, but you know what? We need another Pokemon for our team, so I'm gonna catch this Electric, and he will be the best Electric. I was gonna say, please don't kill it. <laughs> okay, that should be more than enough. I'm not thinking... I don't know, I don't see any reason why Stun Spore... Oh wait, did I try using Leech Seed before? I meant to use Stun Spore. We missed? Okay. This thing knows Thunder Wave. That's gonna be really helpful, actually. Much more accurate than Stun Spore. And it knows Howl. Man, I am just... This is going to be the best Electric in the world, even though in my first Sapphire Nuzlocke, I caught an Electric and it died. But I know exactly what it died to, so I'll be looking out for that. I don't know, I, I probably should have saw it coming when, when it did happen, but it just, it, it surprised me so much. I don't know. I'll mention what that was later. So we got an Electric for our team. What am I going to name it? The hardest part of any Nuzlocke challenge. Well, it's a girl. Mm. So I just came up with the best name ever. I was gonna call it Ava after my dog, which is, you know, a girl. But you know what? This is so much better. I'm gonna call you... Oh, no! I'm pretty sure I just called it Tit by accident. Oh, okay, <laughs> I didn't put in the other T. <laughs> okay, that's a hardy nature. That's really good. I like... Pokemon with neutral natures, and there's its stats. I'll probably check its IVs and editing. Even though, they'll probably be completely irrelevant, so. Luckily, the name raider is right here in town, so I can change its name. In case you couldn't tell, I didn't mean to call it T. I I actually want to call it Titania, because Titania is apparently a girl's name according to the Fire Emblem, and I really wanted to name a Pokemon after Titan, my friend. But you know what? This just works so much better. Titan will be a female electric, and he will love it. Yeah, it's right here. So Slushy gets to be a Shroomish, and Titan gets to be a an Electric. I don't know, I, I, I don't plan on naming all my Pokemon after my friends, but just this was too perfect. And plus, Titania isn't a bad name. Titan's a horrible name, but Titania is okay. Okay, let's... Let's not press start again. <laughs> it, it would be really funny if I accidentally named it to... Alright, Ty... Titania, there we go. That's a good name for him. Okay, or her, I guess. I'm gonna have to get used to calling it she, okay. And we just got the XP share, so why don't we put that on him, her, it, him, it. There we go. And okay, uh, so I'm really happy about that. We really did need another team member. It was kind of lame going through seven parts of the LP with just a shoe mission like a combuskin, but whatever. Okay, so there's just going to be more of Route 10 here, and then the next place we can catch a Pokemon, I'm thinking, is west of Mobile City. And we don't, there aren't too many interesting things we can get there. I think we can get a Meryl, which, eh, I don't know. I wouldn't really like that, but critical hit. More like critical it did nothing at all. That was really clever, I should write that down. Okay. So this is gonna take a while, isn't it? <laughs> hmm. So what else can I talk about? I like how I spent like I, I probably said that like ten times. What else can I talk about? I beat in Nintendo Land, there is this game, Donkey Kong's Crash Course, and I beat it. All four maps. It took forever. But I did it on my first try in, in, in one session, and I, I just felt really good about that. There's this one jump in Area 4 that's, like, impossible. Or not Area 4, but, like, the fourth map. And I think it's, like, the fourth area of that map. So, yeah. So, that, that, that's what I've been up to. I've been playing Nintendo Land. And, like, I'm getting kind of frustrated, because, like, I'll try to speedrun those maps, but every time I do, I find that I, like, I'll die, like, if I ever try going quickly. Like, your little character can't take a lot of, you know, recoil, I guess. So, it, I don't know, I almost want to say that it discourages speedrunning, but at the same time, it's, eh, I don't, I don't know. I, I, I've just been getting frustrated with it, because whenever I try to speedrun, I'll die to something stupid. Like, running into a wall slightly too quickly, 
or the new thing, in the second map, it turns you upside down. And for some reason, when you're trying to do that quickly, it just, it, you just explode. That's, you, you just explode. So yeah. I don't know, N Nintendo Land is a lot of fun, especially with friends. Well, obviously, that's because it, that's what it's meant for, but yeah. I really wanted to do the um, adventure ones. Like, there's three little mini games that are all like little mini adventure ones. There's like the Metroid one, the Pikmin one, and then the Zelda one. And I've just been kind of going through them, kind of like really at a, at a slow pace, but by myself, playing as Olimar and the Archer. Actually, I, I'm on like the fifth, the fifth level in the Zelda one, and like I've only tried it once. And like, I got to the last, I, I got to the little boss at the end of it, and I remember it, he, had, he had a helmet. This is this is really interesting. I, I know you you don't have to tell me, but. Like, I remember, like, I tried to do a backflip, but I couldn't, because I was up against the wall, and so he killed me, like, really easily. And then, like, there, there's, like, this new way of dodging him that's, like, completely new to you. So when you first try to do it, of course you're gonna fail. So, yeah. Nintendo Land has been frustrating me recently. I guess I'm just not good enough to do it. Look at that, a full restore! Skittles is the Zigzagoon of the century. Okay, let's explore out here. Oh, okay. I was gonna... See if I had a Paralyze heal, but I guess not. I just guess not. So we've been going on for 18 minutes now. It doesn't feel like that. We just, we like just started this episode, like two seconds ago. Hopefully it feels like that. Hopefully it doesn't, hopefully it doesn't feel like this episode's been dragging on. <laughs> hopefully not. Okay, so Roselia here is actually, I think it has like a hundred base special attack, which is a lot, it, it's a lot more than what you'd think, definitely. And Mr. Hugs is poisoned, that's just great. Luckily I have antidotes. I, I mentioned this earlier, losing a Pokemon to poison must be like the worst thing to happen. Because like I said, you can try to move, you can try to get there as fast as possible, but you know deep down inside that it's it's gonna die. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not sure when Titania will be ready for battle, but you know, he'll be ready eventually. Or she, I'm sorry. I cannot wait for Titan's reaction to that. Slushy, uh, my, my friend Slushy was pretty happy with his Pokemon. He's a Shroomish, and Shroomishes are awesome. He was very happy with that. I'll go ahead and use a... Oh yeah, we, oh yeah, we should probably start using Combuskin, since he's not out of power points. I don't know why Mega Drain keeps running out of power points. I don't know what Shroomish's deal is. I was, oh yeah, so I mentioned earlier that Breloom can learn Spore. Well, that's not completely true, because only Shroomish can learn it and he learns it at like level 45 or something like that. So, yeah, I'm not gonna... I'm not training Shroomish to level 45 just so that he can learn Spore. Even if it is a really effective attack, it's just not worth it. Like, I'll be in, like, Victory Road, and my Shroomish will finally evolve into a Breloom. Yeah. That's... that's no fun. So, more berries. That's just the greatest news. Hopefully I don't forget that I have them, because they can come in handy boss battles and stuff when you're out of healing items and you need to heal paralysis or something. Now this is an emerald, so we don't have the uh what is it? It's like the something cave. I don't remember what it's called. I know it begins with an A. But yeah it's this cave and all you'll find in there is Zubats I think. And I wouldn't mind that just because Zubats are nice. I like Zubats. And we have a double battle over there so I'm gonna go heal real quick. Actually, you know what, that's... We've been going on for 20 minutes, exactly, almost. So next time on Sapphire, Nuzlocke, Let's Play, we're going to continue exploring these routes, and we'll probably have a rifle battle, actually. So I'll see you guys then.